Hello, my name is James Doust of James Doust Consulting. Some of you watching may know me as such, more as Jim Doust or simply JD. Others may not know me at all, including those that have stumbled on this video I have posted to YouTube. My experience with CAD, Computer Aided Design, is over 30 years including multiple CAD systems, but specializing over the last 18 years in NX and also NX MoWizard. This video is to de demonstrate the power and usage of the NX Fill Surface Command, the Fill Surface Command for NX surfacing users. The command is not new. My version of NX9 has it but I believe few users know of it or its usage. I myself did not stumble on it until Annex 11. What you're seeing here is a dumb body I imported from an online CAD service. Uh, it was a step file that I brought in. It was originally built in Rhino CAD. Um, but what I'm going to do here, and this is how I test if something's a solid body or not. It, it's just the way I do it. I go to the Unite command and it, NX will not select it. Um, if my, my type filter here is set to sheet body, and you'll see now I can select it because it is a sheet body. If I go to my analysis, which is typically what I do if I import a dumb body and it's not a solid body and do an examine geometry sheet bodies is selected here and I examine it and then I go to this little checkbox that says highlight results you can see there's a hole in it right there which is one reason why NX will not make it into a solid And looking at that, if I was to extrude an edge as a sheet and then do a trim sheet, I could sew that in no problem to make that a solid body. But looking at the other four areas, and they're all the same, you can see there is some kind of geometry going on there that even as an experienced surfacing user of Annex, I would probably have to strip this of all the surfaces and rebuild those areas. But because this is basically a mirrored part, instead what I'm going to do here is just turn on my data, datums, do a trim body, reverse it to get rid of that, And now basically I have a sheet body that's open on one end. Now I could mirror this and try to sew it together, but instead as my demonstration I'm going to go to fill surface. I mean if I wasn't using fill surface what I would do is extrude a sheet up, uh, extend the sheet in all directions I needed to and then do a trim sheet picking all the edges. But instead of that I'm going to use this fill surface command here. And then I'm just going to pick the edges. And I'm going to make sure I'm up here. I'm, I've got tangent curves. That's good. And I'm going to pick them in any order that I feel like. Now you can see I have none of the little red stars, so I have them all selected. <clears throat> when I go to apply here, it's going to tell me some edges cannot have the G1 continuity. Now continuity has, without getting into it in depth, it has to do with 
uh, tangency and um, continuity of arcs and things like that, which I'm not that concerned with. So I'm going to grab all these and make sure I have them all selected. And I'm going to change that from a G1 to a G0. Now you can see the preview shows me I have a sheet body in there now. And it's filled up the whole gap. I'm going to do an OK here. And you see I have a nice beautiful sheet that NX has put in there. Now once again, right now if I go to Unite, I do not have a solid body in there. But if I do an edit with rollback here, now I could sew it right now. I know the sew command and I could sew this into a solid. Um, but instead I'm going to go into this fill surface and I'm going to edit with rollback. <clears throat> and I'm going to say patch into part here. Doing OK here. Now if I go to my Unite command, you see I have a solid body. So what the fill command does, if you say patch in a part, if it's the only gap in a part, NX will put the surface in and sew it and make it into a solid. If it's not the only gap in a part and you have patch in the part, NX will so that surface into the part but not make it into a solid. Uh, to demonstrate that I'm going to go into this part um, once again I'm going to analysis examine geometry it is a sheet body as you can see NX tells me there I'm going to examine geometry here and then highlight results. You can see I have five openings. And I'm going to step my way around this with the fill surface command instead of putting a through curve mesh say in like I would have done in the old days. And I'm just going to pick this. Th through curve mesh you have to pick in a certain order. But all I'm going to do is pick these in any order I want to to do use the fill surface command. And right now I left it at G1 and you can see and I'm going to say patch into part this time. I'm also going to highlight this and then I'm going to say assign a feature color, color just so we can see here. Specify my color. We'll go with light blue. But if I go to sew, right now you can see that it's already sewn into the part. So I'm just going to continue along and do the exact same thing. Got another hole right here, and I'm just going to pick any order I want to again. It's going to show me a surface. It looks a little bumpy, so what I'm going to just do is play with this continuity here and change it from a G1 to a G0. And that smoothed it out a little bit, so I'm going to say OK. And once again, I'm just going to assign a feature color. I'm going to go with the default here and say OK. <clears throat> the next ones are a little bit more challenging because it, here you can see it's a variable radius. And we're going to see how that fill surface command works there. Once again, I'm just going to pick the edges in any order I want to. I'm seeing that as just a beautiful surface, perfect for a machinist or a CNC operator to, to cut off the model. Once again, I'm going to go and assign a feature color just so we'll be able to see it later. It's not necessary. Now come one, comes one that is a little bit different. As you can see, it's a, it's a 
a conical shape, but it has a step where that conical shape meets this radius, this edge. So let's see how the command works there. Once again, I'm going to pick in any order. Now this would be a hard one to do with a through curve mesh. You might be able to extrude a sheet and then trim sheet. Um, I'm not going to tell experienced users how you would do it. Um, once again, if you look at my alert down here, it says some edges cannot have a G1 continuity. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to make sure I select them all. And we're going to just change that again to G0, which is fine for me. And then look at the beautiful surface that NX has put in there. Just so we'll be able to see it, I'm going to change that to that light blue. And you can look at that as a beautiful surface that any surfacer in Annex would be proud to be able to patch into a model. <clears throat> now, once again, I'm going to go to analysis and examine geometry on this whole model here. And I'm going to have the sheet bodies highlighted checked I should say and then highlight the results. Now you can see that NX has with the fill surface command with the patch checked has actually sewn this all together into a model but it's still a sheet body with one hole and that is a fairly difficult surface. A through curve mesh would probably work just fine there but it's a surface that's a little bit more complicated because look at all the radiuses you have coming together. You've got a variable radius coming down the side. You've got a variable radius coming together with it. So let's just see how that fill surface command works on this. So again, I'm going to just, and remember I have tangent curve selected here. I'm just going to select in any order I feel like it. And look at that, even a G1 continuity, NX has put a beautiful surface that any NX surface, surface user would be proud of in the model and would be highly machinable when passed off to the CNC. Uh, I'm just going to do again to assign that the feature color and the light blue again and do it. The last, all, all of the fill surfaces, I should say, that I've used in this demonstration had patched into part checked. Now all the rest, it, NX basically sewed them into the part file. But now if you look here, if I do my Unite solid body, because NX filled the last hole in the model and I had to patch into part checked, NX sewed the patch into the part but also upon sewing it it knew there were no further holes and made the model into a solid model that's it for my demonstration for today um, on fill surface uh, I hope it was useful for you and you learn something. Uh, that's what this video is about. And uh, happy surfacing.